What's up, everyone? Shirasoni here, back for another lesson. Um, today's tutorial is gonna be on how to how to do hip hop sampling. This is gonna be a three part series, um, and it's gonna look at some of the unique ways to do hip hop sampling. Um, one of the ways that I do, first of all, is by using Melodyne. So we're gonna talk about that today. So I'll let you guys listen to the original sample first. This is the original sample. That's for a battle flip that I did, by the way. So you know, there's some nice instrumentation. Basically, I took that, I took the intro part of that, and then I made this. Using Melodyne, of course. And I'll show you guys how I did it, okay? So, if you guys just drag the track onto here, it'll look something like this, okay? So, if I play this... The cool features about the recent version of the Melodyne is if you drag drag the tr track on here, like it'll analyze all the different notes. If you have vocals, it'll analyze vocals, and guitars, and all that stuff differently, you know, piece by piece. So you could um, get the individual notes separately and then <clears throat> make a sample out of it. So what I did was I basically um, took this part right here and by chopping it up and Lengthening it out, I made this, which I let you guys listen to already. But obviously, you guys could see how I lengthen each to each of the notes. And then, <coughs> sorry, they tell you each of the notes right here. So you know, using music theory. Another cool thing you guys could do is um, if you open up like these the formats and stuff like that right here. You guys could change so much uh, room for sound design. You guys could also go into the harmonic section, make it sound more square. Make it sound more like saw wave. You know. All that good stuff. Um, mess around with it, you know. There's a limited num number of possibilities. And then I basically bounce this out to a wave file and then took that back in here. And this is what I did. Um, if you guys go here, this is what I got out of it. Obviously, you guys could hear a lot of uh, reverb on it. And then I EQ'd it a little bit, add some compression. All to my taste, of course. Like I tell you guys with sound design normally, um, sound design there's really no rules, just make it sound good. When you're mixing and mastering, of course, there are certain guidelines you have to follow, but when you're sound designing, like even if you, you know, raise the e EQ like all the way to the And then another thing I do normally is I have a reverse sample of this. And um, what I basically do is I record with this, I reverse it, put a reverb on it, record it, and then I reverse it again. Okay, so it sounds like this. Obviously, you hear the auto pan going left and right, right here. And then I have this playing in the background with the original sample, and it makes it sound way more spacious and makes it sound louder. So it sounds like this together. Right, first, it's just 
So I'll let you guys hear what I got. By the way, everything here except for the bass and the drums uh, were created uh, from the sample that I let you guys listen to. So all the strings here and everything, and that will be covered on part two and three. All right, so listen to it. Check it out on my SoundCloud for the full song. <laughs> you guys before um like me on facebook subscribe do whatever if you guys want to you know peace out have a good day wait up for part two and three <laughs>